the more that we played with some pace, I think offensively we were, we were just a different team compared to last night. And I think it showed, you know, we had more assists and the, the ball was just popping. Jason Tatum was a man on a mission against the Pelicans on Saturday night. The Celtics were looking to grab a bounce back win to close out their road trip, and they came out looking like a completely different team than the one we saw against the Hawks. They were attacking the paint and playing off of each other to outscore the Pelicans 52 to 34 in the first half, and they continued to roll to a 107 to 97 finish as Jason Tatum logged a total of 38 points. Just as a team, the more that we played with some pace, I think offensively we were, we were just a different team compared to last night. And I think it showed, you know, we had more assists and the, the ball was just popping. He made, you know, is really big on it. You know, he wants us to play fast. He wants us to get down the floor because he knows the potential that we have, especially in those two guys on that wing and the talent that they have, especially in the open court. So getting those guys, you know, in, in the open court to let them, you know, be great is, 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 is only going to help us. Obviously, shot making, at timely shots helps, but um, didn't love our third quarter and second half in general. Uh, felt we played, you know, much more tight defense. We only gave up 34 points a half, and they had 36 in the third quarter, and 63 points second half. So, didn't love our our second half overall defensively. Uh, felt like we got a little bit loose there, and to even let them get back in it. And although it's you know it's a game of runs, we don't don't have to always go that way, it can go the other way from 19 to 25 or so, and that's that's the goal for us to push it up instead of, uh, you know, them carving into the lead a little bit, and then we have to buckle down and overplay some guys. The Celtics will now fly back to Boston for a two-game homestand, and that will begin on Monday night when they host the Miami Heat. Closing out for Celtics.com, I'm Amanda Flugrad.